Hi, this is Florian, and today I will show you da the data visualization features of Bambuda. First, we show the user interface, and I'm interested in the survived column. So I have a look at it, and I see, okay, it's only two values, 0 and 1, 60 to 40, so I can just change the data type to Boolean. And something else that I want to do is I want to have a look at the age column. And I see a histogram this time because it's numeric column. And I can rebin the histogram. I can even have a look at outliers and the histogram will be able to zoom into this. So those were quick insights into a column, but if I want to understand the whole data frame, we need to do something different. First, we want to have a look at the glimpse. So we see an overview of all columns, the data type, the unique values, and the missing values color-coded. Let's say I want to predict the column survived, and I want to find out which is the best predictor. And I can quickly see this here. The best predictor is the column sex. If I want to understand why, then this mosaic plot explains it, because if the person is male, it rather died, and if the person is female, it rather survived. Also, you might be interested into patterns between columns, so predictive patterns between columns. And for this, we have the predictor patterns tab, and what you can see here is the normalized predictor score from 0 to 1. And something is special. The ticket column predicts nearly every other column pretty good. And if you have a look at this, we can drill into this and see if you know the ticket, like a ticket ID, then the fare is always the same. So there's no spread and fare. That's interesting. So I want to save this analysis for later. So I just copy it into the next cell and I have this saved here now. And something is special about this plot function here because you don't need to specify the plot type. So you can just change, for example, here from H, um, you can change so that you want to visualize H and fair. And what you see here is you see a hex bin plot can also rebin the hexpin plot. And you see that most of the values are actually in a very low range of fair. This is where most of the values are and around 20, which you also see due to the marginal plots. Therefore, the hexpin plot is a better choice than the scatter plot, which has the problem of overplotting. So those were some quick visualization features. The next time I will show you how Bambulib works on big data with 1 million rows and I will show you some more advanced transformations. See you then!